hello guys welcome back again to this channel on today's video i'm taking you guys straight into umwahia and um, umwahia happens to be the capital city of abia state nigeria so um on this video we are going to go through a major um ongoing road construction that's going on in umwahia we are going to also go through the government house, the federal medical center, and also through some major um, neighborhoods in Umwahia. So guys, come with me on this video so you would see the effect of Dr. Alex Oti, the governor of other states. Then we will see his effect and his touch in Umwahia. Frankly, the guy is doing well. Yes, he is doing really, really well. Okay, um, before now, this particular road we are in right now, before now, this road was not as wide as it is. Okay? Before now, the road was a little bit narrow and it wasn't spacious. But as it is right now, you can see that this road has been expanded already by the state government and work is still going on on this particular road yes you can see that um it's one way that the motorists are using right now because there is active work on the other lane yes massive work is still ongoing on the other lane on the other lane and as i'm talking to you right now even um there are some houses and some um plazas that were um put down just to expand this road okay so when you see a government that really wants to work it doesn't look at people it doesn't look at um whatever that's going to hinder it it goes straight and just work and that is what is happening in Omaha here today so while on this on this road um a lot of things i I um, spotted lots of good things about this particular road and um, one of the major important things that I noticed on this road is the drainage system. Okay, you can see that work is ongoing still on this road. Like they are not done with um, fixing the road so they are still working to get the road fixed. So back to what I was saying, there are a major thing I um, noticed on this road was first of all the drainage system. Yes, I really need to talk about the drainage system on this road. If you take a look at the drainage system, you would see that it is properly covered. Yes like it is properly closed and there are holes just from a spot to this a spot there are holes that are on this drain system that will also be covered with um openable slab okay like this slab will not be sealed completely it will still add so so that whenever um they want to work in the um, drain system they can still open it up and do whatsoever they want to do um, in the drainage drain system and then close it up without stress. So, and also I noticed that um, this drainage system is also used as a walkway. You can see people are already walking, are walking on the drainage system. What you are seeing them walking on is not, is not a walkway, it's a drainage system, but it's, it also serves as a walkway. And this means that um, closed drain system is more valuable, is more useful than um, the open drainage system. Yes, and that is quite impressive. I was very impressed with the fact that um, would they practice the closed drain system in Umwahia, and probably this same thing would. Um, to be the same in Aba, but um, soon we'll get to Aba, so we'll see how or what Aba looks like. 
and um, the quality of work that is going on in Aba. So right now we are in Umar here, the capital city of Abia State. And um, I'm talking about the drainage, drainage system in Umar here. And um, we are saying that it is closed and also it serves as a walkway at the same time. So it is actually serving two purposes. Okay, yes, it is a drainage system and also at the same time it is the walkway. Yes, and I hope um, other state governments um, that don't practice the closed drainage system would actually learn from this. It is even uh, more economical. So instead of leaving the, um, the drainage system open, it is preferably that it's closed. Yes, it is preferably closed than leaving it open. That is one. And secondly, this road is a standard road. You can see the wideness of just one of the lanes. And this is how a standard road should look like. So, frankly speaking, I would say that Alex Oti is doing a wonderful work in Abia State. Yes, the guy is doing a wonderful work in Abia State, Nigeria. So come with me guys, let's go through Umuahia and see how Umuahia looks like. And um, it will be good that you drop your thoughts on the comment section. What do you think about this current administration in Umuahia? That's the Alex OT administration. What do you think about the closed um, drain system that is being practiced in this um, particular area? What do you think about the quality of work that is ongoing? On these roads and on what do you think about Umwa here in its entirety please drop your thoughts your ideas on the comment section let's make this um, educative and informative at the same time come with us as we go on this trip together And also, if you look closely, um, you would relate to something on this particular road we are driving in Omoahia. So this is the um, government house area in Omoahia, the capital city of, um, of Abia State. And also, if you look closely, you will notice that the roads are clean. That is one thing that baffles me with these roads. Yes, the Umuahia roads are very clean and I hope other states would emulate this um, good work or good job that is ongoing in Umuahia. You can see also that the drainage systems are covered and I believe that is why these roads are clean. So please, other state governments that, that um, and practice open drainage systems should please learn from Umuahia. Look at how clean this city is because the drainage drain systems are closed and people are using this drainage drain system as walkways. You can see that for yourself already. Okay, this is the FMC in Omaha here. FMC Junction in Omaha here. So what we are saying is that the roads are very clean. The roads in Omaha here are very, very clean. And this needs to be emulated. Okay? Practicing the closed drainage system are more reliable and leaving the drain systems open and this will also aid cleanliness to an extent okay yes it will help the city to be clean and you can just see the sample of that in Omoa here and apart from that the trees there are lots of trees planted along 
the express roads along the along the major roads and this makes the city look more beautiful and attractive you can see the trees that are planted along the roads you can see how beautiful this city is looking these stuffs need to be um, emulated also by some of our states in the east that um, are not practicing such okay yes look at how beautiful Omaha looks so this is the city of Omaha where Dr. Alex Oti is the executive governor and this is what this beautiful city looks like in 2024 so we are also going to um, explore some neighborhoods in um, Omaha so stick with us on this video while we explore these beautiful neighborhoods and you will see how um, tired the roads are okay it's not like some states that when you get to their neighborhoods the roads are not tired and the roads are not um looking good at all the roads in Omaha are tired up to the neighborhoods so we are going to explore some major neighborhoods in Omaha so you would see how beautiful these neighborhoods look and how organized they are. Omaha is a beautiful city and um, you would love to visit Omaha. Yes, Omaha is a city you would love to visit and spend some time. And this city is um, predominantly Christian settlers and also is a peaceful city. Umaha is one of the most peaceful cities in the southeast. So in this um, um, city, businesses flourish, you know, it's nightlife, there is fun. Whatever you, you need, you can find it around and within Umwa here. So right now we are going into some major popular neighborhoods in Omaha and I urge you to come with us as we explore these beautiful neighborhoods together. Come with us guys. So you can see how organized and how um, clean these neighborhoods are. This is um, one unique thing about the city of Omaha. This is just some neighborhoods in Omaha, and uh, you can see how tired all the roads are. Virtually every road in um, Omaha is tired, up to such neighborhoods like this. Good roads everywhere. Good roads everywhere okay so if you have not subscribed to this channel already please do well to subscribe to this channel comment share and like this post and also don't forget to click on the notice bell down below so that whenever we post a video you will be the first to get to know about it please don't forget to stick with us watch this video to the end so that you will see how beautiful and how unique Omaha looks like so we'll also um, be bringing you more videos from around Omaha so you get to understand that the, um, the Alex OT administration is doing absolutely wonderful in this city yes the man is walking you can see the roads are tired virtually every part of Omaha is tired with good roads basic amenities everything you can think of this city has it if you have watched up to this point thank you so very much 
see you on our next epic video coming your way remain blessed and bye for now